Evening, everyone. We would like to welcome the inaugural winner of the Myrtle Beach Classic, Chris Goderup. Chris, congratulations. <laughs> Want to start off with some opening comments, what it's like to be a PGA Tour winner. Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the circle now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it definitely hasn't sunk in yet, but um, I just want to thank everyone this week for, you know, the support. What a great first event. I'm, I'm sure it's a big success for, for Visit Myrtle Beach. So um, honored to be the champion and uh, yeah, it couldn't, couldn't have gone better. And a little bit about today's round. What were nerves like sleeping on a lead and with the start, but to cap it off with the finish? Yeah, um, you know, in the morning I, I set my alarm for 9 o'clock. I got up at 6 um i was a little upset about that one so i had some time to kill i actually just went down to the beach and walked for an hour um but yeah i mean i i felt pretty good to start the day and obviously started off with two bogeys but um i was more calm than i thought i was going to be uh i was definitely more nervous until i got here um but yeah it was a great day and um definitely up and down and uh you know i wasn't expecting it to just be smooth sailing like you said, you're in the winner's circle. Were these moments you've thought about when you were making your debut, Puerto Rico Open and professional debut, RBC Canadian Open? Yeah, I mean, um, I definitely, you know, knew at some point, hopefully, that I would be in this position. But, you know, golf's a crazy game. You never know where, where you're going to end up. But, um, you know, I feel like I've done a lot of the right things in, you know, my process and, you know, going through the system that the tour has provided. Um and, yeah, now, now we're here. Mom, dad, and brother flew in overnight. When did you find out they were making the trip down to Myrtle Beach? I called my mom yesterday after the round because I figured they were probably going to do it. But I was like, eh, I, you know, just stay at home. Like, everything's going fine here. But, um, but yeah, she's like, all right, we're coming. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, uh, it was good because I ordered flowers, and they weren't going to make it today, so she'll get them when she goes back home. So, um, it works out perfectly. I guess best uh, Mother's Day present. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go ahead and open up to questions. Uh, if you have a question, go ahead and raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone over to you. Start up here with Alan. Hey, thanks. I'll have a couple, please. Um, firstly, the, the two bogeys, three putts, I mean, uh, was that nerves, or, or how did you feel on those first couple holes? Um, the first hole was probably nerves. I mean, I didn't. I don't know. I really didn't even feel that bad. I hit a, not a good second putt and not a good first one. But the second hole, um, I mean, it was like a 75-footer up and over into the wind. It just, you know, the odds aren't in my favor on that one. But uh, the first hole, I, that one bothered me a little bit. But, um, yeah, and then I, I, you know, settled in nicely. I was actually in a divot on the third hole and hit it to about four or five feet. So once I, once I got going, um, you know, it, it was definitely much more calm-ish. And, and did you have to reset a little bit after those two bogeys? Did you do anything? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, AJ, my caddy, was like, "You good?" I'm like, "Yeah, I feel, I feel fine." You know, I, I don't think I, you know, we did what we were trying to do. I just didn't hit a great putt. So I mean, I, we were just going along as usual. And um, the other question I would have is, um, you know, you've won in less than two years as a pro, which is a short amount of time in most people's. You know, would, most people would say that a short amount of time to win a PGA Tour event, but did it feel longer than that, uh, 27 starts in two years? Um, I don't know. if it, I don't know. That's a good question. You know, I, I had a chance to win John Deere. I had a chance to win Puerto Rico. Um, and when I say chance, I mean I lost by a couple, but, you know, I was in the mix. Um, and Corn Ferry, I, I was in the mix a little bit here and there, but I've always kind of just – kind of just gone about my business and waiting for my opportunity and um, I figured if I can just keep working hard and doing what I'm supposed to be doing at some point you know you would think that it's going to go your way but that's why golf is crazy I mean you got guys that are probably plenty deserving to have won and have never won and um, yeah I mean I'm happy I'm on the other side of that. Hey uh, Chris over here Um, talk about closing out Closing out anything for a championship is obviously the toughest aspect uh, of any athlete. What was the mindset coming into today with a four-shot lead, knowing that you had 18 holes to go, but also knowing that it was guys behind you that were playing really well and just trying to close this thing out? Yeah, I think that's the that's the hard part. You know, you you know guys behind you are going to play well, so you have to still play well. Four shots can vanish in two holes or one, but. Um, 
Yeah, I think I think like you said, closing tournaments out is you know something I've done pretty well in college and amateur um, career, and um, you know you rely on those things, knowing that you can do it down the stretch. And I think me and AJ were pretty dialed in, even though it might not have looked like it. You know, sometimes you know grinded it out on some holes, but you know, especially birdieing 18 like that, and um, just finishing off like how you're supposed to finish off a tournament is it feels good. Stick them on the left. Um, Chris, you've now tripled your uh, FedEx Cup points. You qualify for the PGA Championship, and you have status for two more years um, at least. Uh, just how good does all of that feel with the win today? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is the two more years. Um, I got no stress in my life for two years other than, you know, golf stress. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, especially starting off my rookie year, you know, kind of some events you're not getting in here and there you're kind of like all right I need to play good to like maintain my card and now I don't have to worry about that so um that's a huge huge you know worry gone um and now I can just go focus on trying to make a move uh further up the further up the FedEx Cup we have Ruthie Chris, congratulations. Uh, local radio station here, it's been a record attendance for our first PGA event. Thank you for attending. How would you compare the Myrtle Beach crowd to other galleries on tour? I mean, it was very comparable, knowing that some of the other big ones are, you know, obviously this isn't a you know main, main event, but it felt like it. Um, I mean, my group Saturday, Sunday was multiple rows deep coming down the stretch, and um, you know, they were, they were cheering me on and it, it definitely kept me in the mix and mentally and just, you know, kept my juices going. So I, I couldn't say anything but good things about the tournament and how all the people that came out and supported this week. Thank you. And any suggestions to the ground crew here at the Dunes Club? No. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Congratulations. Thank you. Room in the microphone. Back. Chris, congratulations. You know, if you look out to your left right now, you see this beautiful ocean right out there. Tell me about your experience playing in Myrtle Beach this week and, and what this community uh, did to come out and support you. Um, it, I mean, obviously, it's amazing. Um, I I grew up by the beach, so I like going to the beach. I like hanging out. I, I like being in the water, and uh, the ocean just makes you feel good. Um, and being able to play right here, and we had an Airbnb right down the road, um, and I was able to go hang out at the beach in the morning, and I probably looked like a lunatic this morning pacing up and down the beach, but um, it definitely helps and clears your mind. And obviously, um, obviously the tournament was amazing, and people coming out were amazing, volunteers amazing. Everyone here has been really, really nice, and um, it's just been a great week. Yeah, there's a lot of positive comments about the golf course. Talk a little bit about that golf course that you played the last four days. Yeah, I mean, the wind was kind of funky all four days. It would switch here and there, and uh, it made the course play different every day, which is fun. And um, obviously the course is amazing shape. Greens were great. Um, I mean, there's there's not a whole lot wrong with what's going on out there. So there's definitely some tough holes, and uh, I, I really, really enjoyed playing it. Um, it just looked good in my eye, and uh, you know when you're on a nice place and everything feels good, it's it, your it, your game just feels good just because. Um, so definitely helps to have a nice place like this to to play at. You had mentioned your drive on number three ended up in a divot. Was there any point there where you were starting to wonder if you might be a little snake bit coming in today? Um, no, I mean. I, I try to pride myself that I have a pretty good head on my shoulders, and um, I didn't say anything when I walked up there. It was just another shot, and, um, yeah, I mean, if I hit in the bunker and made bogey, maybe I would have uh, said something else, but I made birdie, so it was good. And it's a it's a fickle game, but you three-putted each of the first two holes and then took a total of three putts on the next three. Um, what's that kind of roller coaster like? That's why golf's so stupid. <laughs> It's, uh, it doesn't make any sense, but sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Can you talk about the approach on four is close? That's an ego, I would assume. that you know After you made that putt, too, did you feel as if you kind of had control of the tournament again? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know, I actually hit a great drive down there the other day, and it was in, it was in like a hole over there, um, and I had to lay up from like 185, um, 
And then t I got a good break today, and it was in a great line. I hit it to whatever it was, 10, 12 feet, and made it. And um, definitely a big swing in my direction for sure. Chris, the, earlier this week we talked to you about the difference between first-year player, rookie, and you said, I definitely feel like a rookie out there. Do you feel a lot less like a rookie now with this under your belt? And what do you expect this to do for you in terms of confidence going forward? Um, I still feel like a rookie, um, but I feel like I belong at a high level. Um, not that I didn't before, but now I have some more accolades to prove it. Um, but I think, like you said, I mean, obviously this is a big notch on the belt, um, but I, I feel like I have a lot of room to improve as well, which is the fun part about it. Um, obviously, I played great this week and, you know, grinded it out, but you know, me and AJ out there, we're talking about things that we can get better at while we're playing, which is which is the fun part. So, um, yeah, I mean, I you know, I think you kind of just take take it week by week, or try to at least, and and see what you can do with it. Moving over left now, with Stephanie. You had a few missed cuts earlier in April, and then placed solidly at Zurich. Did you have any expectations coming into this week, or a good feeling maybe? Um, I think I definitely started to feel better. Um, yeah, you said I missed a couple cuts earlier in the year, and I don't know what, you know, I guess it's just golf, but um, I just didn't feel great. Like, game didn't feel great. Um, but, you know, I stuck to my my thing, and it started turning around, and Zurich was, Zurich was great. Um, you know, I played with Austin, and, um, you know, we played together at home all the time, so we were just having fun, and, um, that definitely just made golf like made golf seem more fun again. Um, and that, that tournament was awesome too. And, you know, I played decent last week. Um, you know, I felt like I played better than I probably finished, but so I knew like I felt pretty good coming into this week and I just had to make it happen. So you try to just stay patient and try to, you know, take advantage when you can. Chris, does this mean the mustache stays? <laughs> I, I don't want it to, but I don't think I can shave it now. <laughs> Chris, you mentioned a pretty. I'm sorry. What's it going to take to shave it? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I've, I've, I assume my mom's probably going to tell me to take it off, but uh, we'll see. I mean, it's got to stay for now. You mentioned a pretty decorated college career for yourself. Just wanted to get your thoughts on a 16-year-old making the cut and shooting 10 under around here this week. Yeah, I um, I would have shot 80-80 if I was here at 16. So uh, it's pretty impressive and. Uh, yeah, I saw I saw him in front of the media the other day. Blades, right? That's his name. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, you know, last week uh, there was a 15 or 16 year old too. Um, yeah, I better keep practicing. They're gonna come for me. And Go lastly, on. you strike me as a guy who likes to have a little fun. What does tonight look like for you? Tonight, tonight's gonna be chill. But I can promise you, down the road at some point um, in New Jersey, there will be a big party. One more for me. Um, going down the stretch. Um, you didn't know, but Austin Eckro joined the broadcast to kind of say some nice words about you, and you were there for his first win um, at Cognizant. What was that friendship kind of like Zurich that kind of helped propel you, said, a comfortable week? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think we're very similar people. Like, you know, we just play golf. We just happen to play golf, but we're pretty chill. And, we, you know, when we hang out at home, we, we play together all the time. And um, we're very we're very similar people people even though we grew up very differently but um yeah I think I think after watching him win I was like all right you know I play against this guy all the time I've taken his money he's taken my money why can't I why can't I go win at some point so um and then Zurich was great we had some fun and um I, I you know I think there was definitely just some good momentum going from that week and um you know it's never bad to hang around people that you like and people that you know push you and hopefully now, uh, hopefully now he takes me back as my partner. will be in for next week or next year. Any other questions before we wrap it up? Chris, again, congratulations. Thank and you. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Thank you.